Hey guys, it is me again, and as promised, I'm here to give you guys a quick nursery room tour. So stay tuned and keep watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video if you like it. And if you have any questions, um, feel free to leave them in the comment box below. If I if I missed going over something or you'd want to know like where I purchased it from, so stay tuned and enjoy. So. Here's the front of the room. This is her room coming in. So when you come in, this is what you will see standing at the door. And when you walk in and I close the door because my kids are napping and I'm not trying to wake them up. This is what the room looks like from the right side going to the left. And I'll go ahead and do a detailed, um, I guess, video as far as where I got the things from that you guys see in this video. Okay, so starting over here that is her hamper, of course. There's no dirty clothes in there yet. Um, I got that from Ross, I believe, her laundry hamper. Her letter A for her name, Ashley. This picture and um, the lamp are all from, from Marshall's, I believe. One of them, I'm not sure. But anyways, that's where I got some of this. Most of the stuff that is in this room is either going to be from Hobby Lobby, Marshalls, Ross, or online. So, pardon me if I don't have a detailed as far as where I purchased it from and for how much. Because I've purchased it so long ago. So, I'll just go over what it is. And, um, her dresser, we repainted it. It was like a, um, chestnut color. And... We, my husband repainted it and kept the gold leafing on the front of the drawers, which I really like because I wanted that gold accent in the room. And over here, we have her um, Mamaru, which I got off the website, the Mamaru's website. And we have her rocking chair, an ottoman, which I got from Amazon if not it's probably babies are us but I'm not sure and pardon my water bottle over there on the table but I got that table from Marshall's and the curtains you guys can see there's ceiling to floor curtains and I purchased that from a store online I'm not sure maybe overstock I'm thinking I'm not 100% sure where I got that from and those two little cute little signs that I just love so much I thought it was just such a cute um cute addition to the decor that I was going for it has like a gold um lace and outside this window is our front door so I didn't put any blind here because you can't really see anything at nighttime. I just close it and um, for privacy. So I didn't bother, bother putting any blinds there. But I did go ahead and put blinds on this side because as you can see my neighbor's house is right there. So it is the same curtain. I don't know how dark this is gonna show up for you guys. But it's the ceiling to floor curtain and also over here see if i can get this to adjust we have of course the let me see if i can remember the pink color here on this wall the pinkish wall it is um like a pink color it's more lighter than it's picking up on camera i don't know if you guys hear the garbage truck outside but it's it's a lighter pink than what the camera is picking up i don't remember the color color name of it but it is from um, Valspar 
if I'm pronouncing that right. And the gray is Sharon Williams. Um, sorry if I'm saying um a lot. I just don't remember. <laughs> but the gray is. I have to put that in in the description box. I don't remember what the gray, is, but it's from Sharon Williams. And this mirror here, I got from Marshalls, and it was a like rustic black. When I said rustic, it was black, but it had like scratches on it to pull out that um, brown undertone that was in it. But I didn't want the black mirror. I mean the perimeter of it being black. So I went ahead and got a can of spray paint and I spray painted it myself. And on this side is her crib. I'm trying to get a good angle for you guys here. On this side is her crib. Pardon my husband's tools over there. Um, there you go with um again. But anyways, so this is her crib. This is my son's old crib that my husband painted over with my um, my daughter. I think they did a really good job. The crib, uh, what do you call this thing? Curtain thingy, my jog. <laughs> um, it was an old curtain that we had. Not really an old curtain. It's an old shawl that we had from our old house and I thought it was perfect but the crown accents I got from Estacy and they came white and I spray painted them gold so let me see if I could get a good close up on that for you guys it's really cute I really like it and it comes with well they came with two like hooks on the ends there and if you guys can see them you just put the curtain curtain inside there and it looks so elegant to me. I think it's a perfect fit for the crib. I did not know what I wanted what wait what I wanted to put above the crib was like a picture collage of like different picture frames and stuff, but I felt like it would have been too busy for the small room because I didn't I wanted to put things in here but I didn't want it to look too clustered or just too overdone I just wanted to keep it cute and chic and simple and elegant in some sense so I thought found this and this was perfect and also the bedding I got from um, a friend of ours sent it through our registry it was on our registry I'm not gonna put any what do you call these things bumpers in it because when I don't have any bumpers to put in it and she, by the time she gets old enough to sleep in her crib um, I don't think she'll need bumpers anyways so it's gonna just be like that for now and over here by the crib is um, a diaper jean that we've had from my daughter <laughs> so this is what our third child so this is seen it's dirty diaper days and over here on the changing table these are my, this is my hospital stuff over here I did a what I'm taking to the hospital and what's in my hospital bag video and uh, if you guys want to see that just look in my video list and you guys can watch that as well but going back to her changing table I have her what's that bathtub and underneath here I just got three little baskets that I saw from Marshall's and I just decided to put her stuff in there that's wipes and then I have um her powder and her body wash and all that stuff and then I've got her diapers in here and some miscellaneous things that are in here so the, and guys don't mind my fingernail I know it's kind of off subject but I was by my sister's house and I was just messing with her nail polish and I just decided to sample it but anyways so the picture frame thing up here I purchased that a long time ago and I honestly don't remember where I purchased it from but whenever she does get here, I was going to put like her ultrasound pictures in it, but I figured when she gets here, we can do like proper portraits of her and fill them in with the family and couples 
of her and all that stuff in there but for now that's just how it came and this bookshelf thing is from my daughter's old room from our old house and it was once silver the um gold what do you call that like leg things <laughs> so i spray painted those um gold because they were once silver and the letter a of course for her name in this paris eiffel tower thing was from my baby shower and i stuck it in there and of course her diaper wipes and for the closet let me step back here for her closet it is her closet because it is her room but there's still a lot of my husband's stuff in there because this was once my husband's office before we moved it downstairs and it's not completely clean but I'll just show you all let me see if I could zoom back any no I can't I'll just show you guys what's in there so far just a quick peek um, just a whole bunch of diapers a whole bunch of diapers a whole bunch of baby stuff and boxes and toys just baby stuff and I pushed my husband, all my husband's stuff is back there and pretty yeah, pretty much all this his stuff is back there and like on the top shelf over here and so when she gets older then I'll start hanging her clothes up but by the time that time comes around she and her sister will be sharing her room and this will no longer be her room and I'm gonna turn this little room here either into our second guest room or turn it into like my own personal office slash makeup room whatever and um, I would go into details as far as her what's in her drawers go but I think that's kind of boring so I'll just tell you the first one is all her socks all her bibs all her hair um, bow tie stuff the second one is like dressier clothing the third one here the blankets and towel this one over here is onesies the bottom here are shirts and like shorts and skirts and stuff like that and this one here is for like what is what's that stuff called <laughs> pregnancy brain the thing that you swaddle your child in that's what's in there but anyways that is it for our daughter's nursery and I'm gonna just go ahead and do like a 360 room tour to show you guys and if you guys have any questions please feel free to leave them in the description box and I'll definitely try to answer um, where I get the stuff from if I miss something but here's the just final overview of our coming daughter's room let me get this to adjust real quick there you go so this is it and it's pretty cute I really like it honestly better than I did my my daughter's first room in our older house which was all Hello Kitty everything so yeah I think I'm more pleased with this one I feel like maybe because hope to, hopefully this is our last child <laughs> I took a lot more time and um, a lot more detail into what I wanted this room to look like and I had a vision and I might not have gotten every single thing that I wanted in the room but I think I did a pretty good job in making my vision a reality and I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you guys have any questions feel free again like I said to leave your comment in the description box and I'll see you guys soon in my pregnancy vlog update as soon as I can get to that <laughs> But as always, I thank you guys for watching, and I love you, and God bless, and you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.